First off, we, we had a great crowd. I was excited about that. Um, a lot of our signees were there uh, last night. Uh, a lot of our students, uh, a lot of parents. So first off, the, I was excited about that. But you know, overall, uh, Ryan, going through spring, uh, we felt like we needed to get some guys that have not been, some of our young guys that have not gotten a lot of quality reps uh, in situational stuff, whether it's our team, our pass Kelly, uh, the three different scrimmages that we had. I think it's important that uh, they get those reps so we can evaluate, see where we're at, see how far along these guys have come. And and so I I, I was really impressed with that on both sides of the football. So um, I think from from a coach's uh, standpoint, uh, you, you want to see guys grow and you want to see guys get better. And the only way that can happen is to get good quality reps. And uh, I was I was really impressed with that and, and, and grateful that we were able to get a, a lot of plays this spring and, and last night just uh, showed all that hard work sort of came together and we saw a lot of great things. You know, it's always, you know, at our level it's about depth. You know, I, I feel like we've got some really good players at key positions, uh, but we got to find a little bit of depth and uh, because it's Football is such a physical game. You're, you're one injury away from being to the number two guy and another injury away to being a number three guy. And we've got to get some depth. You know, I, I think there are some positions, you know, I think our quarterback positions, you know, just a really, really very competitive position. And obviously we had DeMolin Brown coming back for us. And, and I think at the running back position, we've got some really positive things happening there up front offensively. Uh, you know, from a wide out uh, perspective, we got some young guys that are that are going to have to grow and, and to help us. Uh, tight end wise, you know, losing DeAndre Washington uh, is a big deal, and, and we've had a couple of injuries there that we got to get some guys back. But some guys got some really good work this spring at that position, and tight end position for us is really important. And then defensively, you know, I think you know up front on defense we were beat up this spring. Uh, really, never had a, a, a true flow. Uh, at that position, so um, I, I think there in the linebacker position, um, you know, we, we saw some very positive things. You know, you, you've interviewed a couple of guys that we were very impressed with uh, this spring, um, and, and I think they're going to be a, a big part of uh, getting people where they need to be, and, and I'm excited about that. But I tell you, the, the, the defensive backfield, we feel like we've got some really talented football players back there, but again, it was a position that we were beat up, you know, this spring and never had guys together. I mean, we had a couple of uh, two corners that, that got after it probably here in the last week and a half of spring and they were by themselves. So those those are the things we got to work on. I think that the, the big key is, is depth. We got to we, we've got to find a couple more guys, obviously, uh, Division two football. Well, heck, nowadays, all football, you never stop recruiting until you possibly get to the first first day of school. So that's our mindset. It will continue to be our mindset just to try to get some help for the guys we have here so that we can try to stay healthy the entire year and give us the best chance to be competitive in the conference. I love the summertime. Um, you know, we have several junior senior camps. We have a seven on seven tournament uh, here on our campus. And then, you know, summer one, we'll probably have 30, 35 guys here, but summer two, that number really goes up to about 90, 95. And that's, that's a beautiful thing because, you know, that way they're working out together. You know, they're doing some endo drills together. Um, and, and we don't, as coaches, have to worry about that because we, we want these guys to coach yourself, you know. And so for us, summer is huge. And, and our university has done a tremendous job to make it attractive for all of our students to be here during the summertime. And, and I think our guys enjoy being around each other. And like you said, their focus is on football and football alone. Although we will have some guys um, that, that will take some classes. Uh, and, and we may, Ryan, we may bring in a few of our freshmen that we feel like can give us some depth early in their their college career. Uh, we, we'll get a few of those guys here for summer too as well. But it's really a good time for these guys to build a chemistry chemistry and continue the culture that we work so hard at here. And and I think it's a, it's a very very important part uh, of being a good football team in the fall. So our guys have always been committed to that. Uh, the key man is just getting bigger, faster, stronger, so you can stay healthier. And again, that, that's going to give us our best chance to be competitive. We want to win, man. Uh, we we, we want to be competitive week in and week out. I think our conference has, has really, really grown in that direction. Uh, we've got some you know dominant teams that, that have been really, really good 
you know, in the 10 or 11 years that our conference has existed. Um, but man, I want our team to be competitive, man. I want us to go into every game feeling like we got a chance to win uh, and, and, and we can compete and maybe put ourselves in contention for a conference championship or making a push for the national playoffs. Uh, you know, something postseason wise. Because uh, look, man, our conference is tough and, and, and we've got to be prepared for that. So, look, our mindset is to try to win it and to be competitive and, 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 and put ourselves as coaches, put our, our, our players in, in position uh, to mentally be, be ready to compete and, and you know, make, make a push. And, and I think if we're setting that as coaches, our players are going to believe in that and we're going to give ourselves the best chance. You know, I'll say this. Yes, it's very important. The, the mental aspect of, of what we try to do football-wise is very important. And I'm a smart enough man to hire really smart coaches to be around me and be great teachers. And I think that's really, really important. And, and I think our coaches do a tremendous job of teaching what we need. But I, in all honesty, Ryan, I think the one thing that our team continuously shows, and it showed a lot more this spring, is the mental toughness part of it. And that, that could be from knowing what what you're supposed to do, what your assignment is, or actually making a tackle and, and getting beat up a little bit and, and and being mentally tough enough to step into the next play. You know what I'm saying? So that that's always impressive to me. And 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 I honestly I look specifically at our cornerback position. Man, we were so beat up there and we had guy we had two guys literally for the last week and a half just getting after it. And and I think that that says a lot about those two young men, but it also says a lot about our team because they have the mentality to say, hey, we, we got to get it done. You know, we got to find a way to get it done. It's either the next man up, or if I'm beat up a little bit, I got to find a way to get it, get it finished. So I think the mental toughness part of it is going to continue to play a role for us in winning that game uh, at the end that might be a little bit close, right? Or, or winning a game against an opponent that maybe from a physical point of view might be a little bit better, but we, we believe a little bit more. So that's going to be something we're going to continue to teach and, and, and preach here because that's who we are. We've always said, man, we're, we're you come to the OEM, UAM, you're going to have a little bit of a chip on the shoulder, and, and, and that's the mentality we want our guys to have because it's uh, it, it works for us, and I think it's going to continue to get better for us. Uh, to be honest with you, there's two different perspectives for me. Um, I enjoy getting up every day, coming to work, because I love the people that I work with. Uh, and, and I think our players enjoy getting to the, to, to the IPF because they enjoy being around the, their teammates. Um, as athletic director here, man, I, I, I got an unbelievable staff, and I enjoy coming to work every day. And I think that's a big part of it because I think us as coaches, uh, we need to show our guys that and, and unless you truly enjoy it, love it, um, it's not going to be fun for you. And I've learned that since I've been here, Ryan. Um, and I think um, for me, I've got to be a, a, a good role model in that, in that regard so that, that others will feel the same way. Because um, we have a great university here that I love dearly uh, and, and great staffs that I love working with every day and a great football team that I love being around it every day and, uh, and, and grateful for that. So uh, I'm, just, I'm just looking forward to uh, being part of something special next fall um, and, and, and feeling like that we've accomplished something that we set out. And, and I think uh, if we can get to that part, uh, then that, that'll make next year just something really, really special.